Hello, hello everyone. My name is Christy and welcome back to my crazy days and welcome to my very first Temu haul. Um, I think I'm saying that correctly. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, with people ordering from Temu and I just decided to give them a try. And I just received my first order. I do have a second order on the way and I'm currently saving up for a third order. <laughs> so I'm um, kind of addicting, um, trying not to spend a whole lot of money on there, so I'm just kind of saving up little bits here and there to get some more fun little items here. My first haul was kind of a mix of things I wanted and things I thought would be practical to use around the house. So we're just going to get started off uh, right away with this big guy. I'm trying to move some stuff because it is a little big here. <laughs> show you guys here so this is for your computer and the computer riser it does have two drawers that come out you might hear rolling around in there I have the screws that are in there so this is a very sturdy um, not, it's not plastic, it is actually a very sturdy and thick styrofoam board. The pieces come unassembled in a box that's uh, over there, so everything is unassembled and flat. You do have the instructions for it and you also uh, get screws in a tiny screwdriver. So there are screw joints here on the drawers and then there are screw joints along the top. I have not put this to the test yet the reviews were good so what I will do is I will insert a little picture right here so that way you guys can see if it does hold up to my computer which is a all-in-one uh, PC computer the price on that I believe was yeah nineteen dollars and twenty nine cents so the nice thing about this is it does have the two drawers and it does have a space for the keyboard and the mouse to go underneath and you guys will see that in the photo when I post that up here again for you guys. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm going to grab is this right here. It is out of the box. This is not how it came in. It currently is not um, in the box because all the rest of my little things from the shipment are in there. This is a tissue holder. Now you do have to take the tissues Kleenex out of the box to put them in here. It will not fit the box and I'm okay with that. You can push this button. That's how you open the lid but that also works as a phone holder and it has two little pockets right in there. And I'm gonna use this to put my like remote control in my uh, flashlight that I keep next to my desk and a few other little things in here as well for safekeeping. And this was $11.48. They did have three other color options for this. I think it was pink and blue and I just went with gray cause it kind of goes with my wall in here. Uh, let's go with the bag stuff. So, I apologize for the noise. I'm going to try to do this as quietly as possible. I purchased this for my husband. He is the cook in the family. He loves to cook. And we always use the uh, spatula to chop up the meat and stuff. So, I got him this. And it's just called a meat chopper. And it looks like I'm just gonna take it out. There we go. So that's what it looks like there. And you would just chop and turn, chop and turn. So I'm hoping that this will, you know, make it a little bit easier. It's really sturdy. It's a lot sturdier than using, you know, a, fl a flat flimsy spatula. And this was only three dollars and seventy-eight cents. So I couldn't say no to that. And <laughs> I'm reaching. Okay, sorry about the noise. I'm gonna open this real quick and I'll be right back. So the next item that I received or that I ordered, and I'm trying to find it on my list here. Oh, there it is. So I can tell you guys the price. This was four dollars and ninety-eight cents. <laughs> Camera might be hard to pick this up because it just wants to focus on me. But it is a microwave safe 
uh, plate cover. But these up here have magnets in them, so you can stick this to the top of your microwave and it can stay there and whenever you need to use it you can just pull it down and place it over your plates. I haven't tested this out yet. Most of the comments said it worked. Some of them said that if the microwave ceiling was not flat it wouldn't stick and if it doesn't stick that's okay. I'm still gonna keep it because we do need a new one and this one is actually larger than our old one. So again this was four dollars and ninety eight cents. Sorry about that while I open those. I ordered two of these. <laughs> one's for my husband um, and one's for me. These are for your car. I mean, you, you don't have to use them specifically for your car, but that is what I purchased these for. These were $2.88 each. And basically what you would do is like first thing in the morning, especially in the winter time, the inside of your window might be fogged up, wet, you know, condensation build up in there. So you would just use these to wipe down your window. I have again haven't tested these just got these in I'm hoping it doesn't leave streaks uh, the last time we wiped down the windshield in my car it didn't leave streaks but it left water spots and so I'm hoping that these will help prevent them as well the head on these does go wow it goes all the way back there <laughs> but the nice thing as well is these do come off so you can wash these you know as needed uh, I did not see replacement pads for this, but I can imagine if you're pretty crafty, you can just get some terry cloth, measure it, put some elastic in there, and then have the replacements for it as well. So again, two uh, $2.88 each. Set those aside. That should be the last of the noisy stuff because everything else is in this box here. So this, <laughs> it's my fault. Uh, this is a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. This was to hold pins in and stuff. Now it does hold the pins in it that I wanted to put in here. However, it doesn't hold all of them uh, that I wanted to hold in here. I do have another um, organizer coming in, so that'll be used for the rest of them. This was $2.48, and it's kind of my fault for not measuring when before ordering it. So I'm still going to keep this and use it as well. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, it's eight inches tall. It's uh, two inches this way and three inches that way. I, I can't think right now. Sorry guys, but it is nice and sturdy. I'll show you here. It doesn't, you know, bend or flex anything. And this is plastic. Next up, sorry this is in a bag, so hopefully it doesn't make too much sound. If it does, I'll just cut this out. Alright guys, so that did make a little too much sound, so I am back. I have two of these. I went ahead, I just left the other one in the bag so you can see how they come packaged. Just like that. I got two of these and I've been wanting these for quite some time. These were $2.18 for both of them. So couldn't, couldn't, you know, say no to that. It has a little handle right here and down on the bottom, another little opening here. And if you haven't guessed what this is for already, this is for putting your plastic bags in that you would get from grocery stores and stuff. And we have a lot of them and they're just like piled everywhere. So I want to stop that. So here it is. Hello. Let me see. Can I see all the way through? Hello, everybody. <laughs> so one of these is going to go downstairs um, in our pantry where they're kind of just all at right now to organize. And then one of them is going to go upstairs because we do use the um, bags that we get from the grocery stores to put our litter in from our cats. So one of these will be upstairs so we can just easily pull the bags out and when the one upstairs is empty, we can just swap them out and fill it back up. Moving right along, this stuff right here, I am excited for and a little nervous for. Uh, I'm not going to open it though because I don't want it to uh, dry out. I don't think it will dry out. Let me check. I think, yeah, okay, I'll open it. So it does have a protective backing on it. This is... Um, 
for your bathroom, shower, for your sinks. And it's just basically like a rubber sealing tape. I'm trying to get it off. Sorry, there's tape on the tape. <laughs> All right, there we go. So it does have a taping on the back. This is what the front looks like. Hopefully it's focusing there. And this does, from the photos, this does bend. So you can bend it, you know, to fit where you're going to put it. Our shower along the base of our shower and the linoleum floor needs to be resealed. Our spare bathroom uh, tub needs to be resealed as well. Some of the areas I've tried with the caul caulking, 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 oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, and it's just, it's not staying. I think it's the way that they installed it. So I'm hoping that this will work in its place. And this was $3.59. So, you know, if it doesn't work, it wasn't that much, um, it wasn't that much of, you know, a waste of money. And this is, I will put the conversions down here, but it was 3.8 centimeters by 3.2 meters. There we go. I believe they had one that was bigger, but I just went with this one because already looking at it when I did the measurements it's gonna be wide enough I think so yeah hopefully this is staying in focus I guess I'm using a new setting on my phone fingers crossed <laughs> all right moving right along I'm really excited for this one and I have to find the price this was a dollar 98 and like I said we have cats and this is a little clipboard <laughs> the back said meow and I'm going to take this out this is just little sticky notes there's just little feist it's so cute and, <laughs> and then on the clipboard here his head's in a bag he just says meow so this is really cute I just got these because they were cute and I'm always looking for something to quickly like jot something down so this will stay on my new computer stand that way if I have to write anything down really quickly I will have access to it two things go together in here okay I thought I was missing something um, these were two dollars and 24 cents so these are flossers these are 108 pieces I don't think they're uh, mint flavored I guess um, and I don't necessarily care if they're mint or not because I always have mints with me and I can't get the package open to, to stiff I didn't read that it was mint on the description no actually smells like rubbing alcohol which is okay I mean sanitary this and this was completely sealed uh, it was vacuum not vacuum sealed but it was heat sealed so you had to pull the tab to get it off and then for 89 cents what's this right this tiny thing right here and it does open up and it, and it came with 10 uh, flossers already so I have a I have a tin it's a green a green one that I'm gonna give to my husband and then I'm gonna keep this one with me because we always like to have flosses around and I got us some more refills because two dollars and 24 cents for a hundred and eight seemed like a good deal uh, you might be able to get more from Dollar Tree for dollar twenty-five, I'm not sure because usually my husband's the one that purchased these, but we'll see. We'll see what he says. <laughs> All right, this thing right here, I think was a dollar something. And watch, I'm not gonna be able to find. Oh yeah, a dollar thirty-four. And oh, I forgot I was gonna test it out. Okay, I'll run and grab my perfume in a second. So this is a travel perfume container, and. You're supposed to be able to fill it up with the bottom. Let's see if it'll focus down there. With any perfume that you can take the top up and, you know, pump it into here. It does have a window there so you can see how much is left in here. And this is 5 uh, mLs. 
I'm hoping it works because I don't want to take, I've been wanting to take my perfume. I've been using samples whenever we travel, but I want to take my favorite one with me and that's in a big jar. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed that this will work. So I'm going to run and go get my perfume bottle and we'll test it out right now and see if it works. Whew. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to take a sippy sip of water really quick, but I got my perfume it's called in black by Estelle you and I'm almost certain I'm actually a hundred percent certain that it's a knockoff brand of something because I got it at one of those places in the mall for like 80 bucks or something like that I like the smell of it and that's all that matters <laughs> so I'm gonna take the top off and this the top is very dirty on this we're just gonna pop that off I hope I'm doing this right or the whole room gonna smell. So you're just supposed to pump it up and down. And I don't see anything leaking. Actually, yeah, I do. Um, so it's, it's piling up along here and I don't wanna drip it out, but I'm gonna keep going and I'll be right back. Okay, okay guys, I'm back. I realized I wasn't pushing down hard enough on it. So, and it, my room is starting to smell a little bit. So I was only going, I'm gonna focus, like, now I can't do it wrong, but just that much. You actually have to put it all the way down. And it's filling up. It's about, I would say a third full right now. I'm hoping the camera angle can pick up on it. You can kind of see the liquid moving around in there. And hear it. So I'm gonna go a couple more times, and then we're gonna test, make my room smell pretty. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So I sprayed. Now this does have some that stays on the bottom down in here. Oh, and it's actually that's not good. Okay. So there's a rubber piece in here it was starting to come out so you gotta be careful of that when you're using it it just pushes right back in so hopefully that stays and we're gonna see nothing still nothing there we go oh i love this perfume okay so it does work um, a couple things you have to make sure you're pushing all the way down and make sure it's sealed on there and just keep an eye out for this bottom piece down here because there is like a little rubber piece in there that uh, should not come out so make sure it stays in and it does have a lid the lid's not on there very uh, securely but I don't think it'll come off like in my purse or anything and this was a dollar 34 so for that price it, it works like I was expecting it to work. I have seen other ads on Timmy where it says you're supposed to pull this piece completely out. This one I've tried and it won't, it doesn't come out. So this one is just the way that it is. And I'm gonna put the lid back on here. And after this, I have two, two items left, I believe. And they're both fun ones. <laughs> well, the first one, yeah, we'll do these. These are a bunch of stickers. And I got them at first not knowing what I was gonna do with them. And then I decided that I'm gonna put them all over my stand for my PC, the riser. And then whatever, you know, doesn't fit on there, I will probably just stick them elsewhere. But they're the little cat. Like, I can't remember, Pusheen? No, it's not Pusheen, is it Pusheen? I don't, I can't remember, but I just love him. <laughs> so many cat stickers. So many. <laughs> Probably should have gone through them. Hopefully there was nothing inappropriate. <gasps> Shut up. Okay, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Look at the little Vader kitty. Oh my goodness. Okay, um. Oh no, is that Harry? Look, look, 
He's a little Harry Potter kitty. <laughs> oh my goodness. A Viking, one with an umbrella, a ghost kitty. Speaking of cats, <gasps> here's another Star Wars one. <laughs> oh my goodness. A nurse, one with a cupcake. Okay, this was a good purchase. I am very happy with this purchase. And this was kind of one of the reasons they showed this sticker in the ad. And I was like, okay, I love, I love Nutella. <laughs> so this whole sticker pack, I think was less than a dollar. Let me look up the price for you. Okay. It was, sorry. It was a dollar 79 for 50 stickers and they just call them a uh, pack chubby cat stickers, but I'm pretty sure that the, the cat is Pusheen and I'm, I'll put the actual name there, but I'm almost certain that's what his name is. So I'm just going to stick it in the drawer. Right in there. Now that I got my drawer. And speaking of cats, my cat's down here next to me. Smelling my cologne. Or my perfume. Alright, the last item in here I was super excited for. It was one of the first items that I put into my cart. And I believe I saw somebody else order these. These, it's a six piece set of colored, they're called them curve pins. It was $2.69. But they're just roller pins and they have different designs on them. So this one is stars. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. If I get my face out of it, maybe. Nope, I don't want to focus. <laughs> but I'll roll them out onto a piece of paper. There's Sorry. New settings. And you get six different colors. Let's see if I can pull them all out here. I'm done. So we have green, pink, purple, blue, orange, and pink. It's like a lighter pink. And I don't think it'll work on this, but look, I don't think I have any paper nearby either. Let's try it. Ah. So, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. Sorry. So, this is flowers. Is this purpley one? And we'll do one more. What is this one? Love. Love perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. Let's see. Ooh, let's do one more. Okay. So you do have to roll them a couple times to get them going. But this is like, you can kind of see the progression of the hearts in the middle up and then fully completed over there. So these are really cute. I'm gonna use these with my journal, uh, not my journal, sorry, my planner, just to kind of add some, you know, cute little funness to my pages. And oh my, gosh, I just realized the colors on these are fruits. <laughs> So the purple one is, I'm thinking, grape, plum, maybe. Uh, this one, the green one, avocado, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Maybe, there it is. Avocado. Peach, I think, is orange, which is weird. Because so you would think, or maybe it is an orange. You know, it's an orange. I can't tell. If you're interested in Timu, I will leave the link below. I will try to leave the link for the items that I purchased um, in the description box below as well. Looking at it um, before filming, some of these items are no longer available. So I will try to find something similar if I can't find the exact item. Uh, thank you guys. If you could give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, uh, subscribe if you haven't. And my goal, I, I've been absent, I'm just rambling now, but I've been absent from YouTube for a while. I've just done one video a year for the last couple years. I'm going to try and do better for 2023 uh, with the goal of hitting 200 subscribers. So we'll see what happens. Well, this is my big boy. This is Loki. Yes, named after the god of mischief because he is very mischievous. And I swear... He can, he can just like duplicate himself and transport himself, teleport, whatever, <laughs> wherever he wants to. So yeah, hopefully he'll be in some more videos as well. Yep. Yep. Go on. <laughs>
So thanks guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see everybody later.